Welcome to Automotive Territory! It is not always that people need big cars to satisfy their driving needs. After all, not all the drivers have a crowd of kids and groceries to drive around. Some of automotive enthusiasts need performance from their cars that is meticulously packed into a small body for the highest level of agility, power, acceleration and chest-squeezing turns. This is where small sports cars come into play. They possess just the right ingredients to satisfy a thrill-hungry rider while remaining affordable compared to the level of performance and fun one can extract from under the hood. Today we'll be showing you the best representatives of this class that might not be the fastest on the roads, but can definitely bring out exhilarating emotions and will serve as perfect entry-level sports cars while remaining comfortable daily commuters. And before we begin, always remember two things. Do not use your cell phone while driving and be subscribed to Automotive Territory. Enjoy the ride! Alpine A110 This compact French sports car was brought back to life by the efforts of Renault Nissan Alliance. The aluminum body is just 13 feet in length and the engineers managed to keep the weight of the car at 2,380 pounds. The powertrain is located between the rear wheels and it is a 1.8-liter turbo engine designed by the specialists at Renault Sport. It has peak output of 252 horsepower and max torque of 236 pound-feet. The engine is coupled with an upgraded GetTrack 7-speed robot transmission. Dynamic specs include 4.5 seconds 0 to 60 and 155 mph electronic limited top speed. It is known that the first edition of this car will include 1,955 copies with a price tag of $70,000. Audi TT RS Audi TT RS is among the premium small sports cars. The most significant upgrade that it received for the 2018 model year is the new reworked 2.5-liter turbocharged and intercooled DOHC 20-valve inline 5 engine connected to a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic. The updated engine produces 400 horses and 354 pound-feet of torque and that is a 40 points increase in horsepower and 11 points in torque from the previous incarnation of the TTRS. The 3.8 second 0 to 60 acceleration time is achieved by the use of a special launch control system, and after the takeoff, the car will only stop gaining speed after reaching 174 miles per hour mark. The first deliveries of the 2018 model have already started, and the starting price is $64,900. Porsche 718 Boxster The Boxster is a luxury sports convertible that delivers optimal performance for such a small-sized vehicle. It is only 50 inches high and it seats two people. The Porsche is pulled forward by 300 ponies and the torque is rated at 280 pound-feet. Despite the hopes that Boxster will once again have a six-cylinder engine, this model here it is available only with a turbocharged flat four-cylinder. The standard transmission is the 6-speed manual, however, 7-speed PDK dual-clutch automatic is also an option. The standard configuration of the 2018 Porsche 718 Boxster model jumps to 16 4.9 seconds and develops 170 mph top speed. It is worth noting that Porsche 718 Boxster has two higher class versions, 718 Boxster S and 718 Boxster GTS. Those have higher prices but of course way stronger performance. Alfa Romeo 4C Coupe This Alfa Romeo is a less than 2500 pound beauty with a 237 HP all-aluminum turbocharged four-cylinder engine and the top speed of 160 miles per hour. As many Alfa Romeo's fans noted, 4C Coupe is a perfect miniature sports car that begs for a manual transmission. Despite their pleas, the manufacturer decided otherwise and the car is only available with a 6-speed automatic. With 0-60 to 60 acceleration of 4.1 seconds, 4C Coupe is just 0.3 seconds slower than Alfa's more massive 505 HP Giulia Quadrifoglio. As you can see, it is an incredibly good-looking car that is also easy to maneuver due to the rear-wheel drive. 2018 Alfa Romeo 4C Coupe is a two-seater and has completely no storage space. However, no one would probably buy it as a family car or as a main everyday transportation means. Nissan 
Nissan 370Z. The spring to the delight of Nissan's most devoted customers and to honor the 50th anniversary of Nissan Z model, the company released a limited series 2018 Nissan 370Z Heritage Edition. Having a 3.7-liter V6, 332-horsepower engine, the Heritage Edition is exactly the same as the last year's model. However, it is available in two stunning color versions – yellow with black stripes and black with silver graphics. Both models are coupes and are offered with two transmission options to choose from – either the standard 6-speed manual or the optional 7-speed automatic. The Nissan does have its fans, but to be honest, it has gone from model year to model year with no significant technical updates since 2009. So the manufacturer might actually want to consider bringing an all-new 370Z to the market in the upcoming years. Subaru BRZ This automobile was built by Subaru jointly with Toyota and is considered a close relative of the 86 model. However, as admitted by many experts, it successfully separates itself from the sibling by offering better performance, stylish interior and a rich list of available add-ons. The compact coupe is brought into motion by a 2.0-liter boxer engine that, when paired with a manual 6-speed tranny, delivers 205 horses and 156 pound-feet of torque. Moreover, a 6-speed automatic with paddle shifters is available, but you will be sacrificing 5 points in both power and torque. Notably, BRZ ditches the usual Subaru's all-wheel for the rear-wheel drive. The drivers will be most satisfied with the handling and agility of this car due to the very low center of gravity and sport-tuned suspension. Ford Fiesta ST This is a hot hatch of new generation. The major update is that this model changed the traditional 4-cylinder 1.6-liter to 3-cylinder 1.5-liter EcoBoost. The new aluminum engine has the system of disabling one of the cylinders under minor loads, combined fuel injection and a turbocharger. The engine's output is 197 horses, which is 18 horses stronger than its predecessor. But notably, the bump is for the European Fiesta only, since Americans have already got the new engine. The powertrain consists of a 6-speed manual transmission that channels power to the front wheels. From a standstill, Fiesta ST will hit 60 miles per hour mark in 6.5 seconds, and it will accelerate all the way to 143 miles per hour. In 2018, it is getting a three-door body, however, it will not be available in the US. Honda S660 If you think that Type R is the most interesting and hottest automobile manufactured by Honda these days, you probably haven't seen the baby roadster S660. Since this is a K-car, it must comply with the strict government regulations forcing it to have a maximum displacement of 660 cubic centimeters and three cylinders, but the S has a turbocharger to it. The power is channeled to the rear wheels and it is rated at 64 horses and 76 pound-feet of torque. Even though the top speed is just 82 miles per hour, but this is irrelevant. The fun you get when throwing this agile roadster around corners is all that matters. Unfortunately, even if you have already fallen in love with this super compact auto, you won't be able to become an owner, unless of course you live in Japan, where it's exclusively sold. Volkswagen Up GTI The most popular hot hatchback from Volkswagen, Golf GTI, for years has been enjoying great sales and love of drivers, mostly due to the great performance and acceptable price. However, its seventh generation is hard to call affordable, so the market was ready for a new GTI from Volkswagen. This is when the charged up comes in, bringing to the table a three-cylinder turbocharged 1-liter TSI with increased output of 115 horses and 148 pound-feet of torque. It is agreeable that the number of horses under the hood is rather humble, but let's not forget that up weighs just 2200 pounds. The top speed is set at 125 miles per hour. 0 to 60 takes 8.7 seconds, tuned suspension and GTI styling for appealing $20,000. What else can a compact sports car fan desire? Suzuki Swift Sport The third generation of Swift Sport is lighter, faster and more dynamic than its predecessor. It made its debut by the end of 2017 
and the vital specifications suggest that it has got a claim to rival Ford Fiesta ST. It has been expected that the subcompact hatch would get a 1.4 booster jet four-cylinder engine borrowed from the older brother Suzuki Vitara. The engine accommodates 140 horses and 170 pound-feet of torque. The drive is sent to the rear wheels through a six-speed manual transmission that has been re-engineered for better shifting. According to the chief engineer Misao Kobori, with the third generation they've moved the game to the next level and made a genuine hot hatch. Well, we will get a chance to check his credibility next year, when the sales of the new Swift Sport will start. And a little bonus. Mini Cooper Works GP. If there are still people who call the Mini cute and not cool enough, we invite you to take a look at the most recent John Cooper Works GP concept. It loses back seat, gets more power, additional track gear, and no automatic transmission option. There is no official data about the power output, but if we were to base our assumptions on the standard Cooper Works 228 horses from a 2.0 liter turbocharged four cylinder, this animal must be making at least 250 HP. It is a mean looking car that hopefully someday will surpass the concept stage. If you think that you might look silly driving these cars, you're actually wrong. Some of them can actually destroy monsters with V8s on a track. Check out the suggested videos to the left and right on the screen. And do not forget to like, subscribe and share. May the torque be with you!